Yeah! All right, hey guys, my name is Russell, I'm your host. This is CTD Adventures, and this is 286. All right guys, sit back and enjoy. Returning subscribers, thank you. If you're new to the channel, consider clicking that subscribe button, smash the notification bell, you'll know every time I'm posting. All right guys, I'm gonna head out down the road, get on the trusty steed, we're doing a quick little overnight shakedown, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Happy trails. All right, well, I just came down the trail over there. Goes back off that way. I'm just a little bit off. I think I found a nice spot here I'm gonna use tonight. The bike did well. First trip out. I've got two side bags. I got my sleeping bag up here. It's a small water bottle. Um, up front, this is my tent in the middle. The blue one's an air pad, and then I got a clothes cell foam pad around that. I'm going to set up a tent right about here. It's somewhat flat, sloping down a little. Breeze is picking up, but the sun's going to set soon. Should be a beautiful night. All right, guys. Let's get this going. I'll show you what I got. This is my Seed House 1 Big Agnes single person tent. Pretty light, pretty small. Fits well on the bike. There you go. Pretty much done. I'm just stake it out on the uh, guy lines, but that's about it. Camp is set up. All right. Well, I brought a double mat system this time. Didn't know if I was going to be on the snow or not. Looks like I'm not going to be. Classic foam pad. Got another big Agnes piece here. That's my air core insulated. Same one I took up Denali. It's a great little pad. So I got the air pad blown up. Got the sleeping bag off the bike. As soon as I get the tent and the sleeping pad set up, I always like to pull my bag out, especially this one because it's down. I'll just toss it in there so that it starts to re-loft. It's been in the stuff bag for a while. That's my Mountain Smith zero degree. It's down, it's not the new dry down, but it's down. And I think it's gonna be dry tonight, so I'm not worried about that, but I'm gonna sleep comfy like a baby. Okay. That's sleeping. 101. 
All right, so this is my stove kit. That's the top, works great for oatmeal, whatever in the morning. That's the burner, I'll show you that next. Inside of here, got my trusty spork. Let's turn this upside down. Fuel cartridge. And the main pot. Now what's cool about this pot, uh, this is a Optimus set, is this thing on the bottom. I call it a reverse radiator. So as you're cooking on it, the heat that would normally go up the side gets put into the pot. So it's actually really efficient. Um, MSR makes something that goes around standard pots called a heat exchanger. It's that same kind of thing. You probably recognize it from uh, Jetboil as well. They use the same type of system. So really good little pot. Love the whole setup. And get some dinner going. Uh, probably got about an hour before the sun goes down. It's a beautiful night. Got the bike all offloaded. Get some dinner going. See you guys in a bit. Dinner is going to be four cheese Idahoan mashed potatoes. And into that, I'm gonna mix some pink salmon. So a lot of calories and some protein as well. What else is in the bag as I squirrel around in here? Oh, and then for dessert, after dinner, a little Starbucks via Colombian. Um, this stuff is fantastic for instant coffee. Yeah, instant coffee can be good. And then what I've got with it is I brought my favorite thermal mug because I like hot coffee, so that'll keep it hot. All right, gonna get things going here. Okay, so I actually put the salmon in the water to preheat it because once I make the mashed potatoes, it's gonna be hard to heat it up. See how long this takes to boil. I got 15.44 on my clock right now, on my watch. All right, it's boiling. I got uh, 1545. Well, and just like that, the sun's going down. You can see it tickling the mountain on the other side of the valley. And dinner is done. All right, time to clean up. It always leaves a little bit of shrapnel down in there. So, best thing to do, it's really easy when you're winter camping especially, is I'll just come out here Give me some snow, and I'll heat this up and use that to clean the pot. That way I'm not using all my water. night it was shining pretty bright the wind blew oh my gosh all night but it's finally calm this morning see the sunrise here in a little bit I'll go check it out I'm gonna get some coffee going coffee yeah all right guys all right so camps back there just made my coffee I'll go sit out here and watch the sunrise had one biker come by this morning and one last night and neither one of them noticed me and I'm only like 15 feet off the trail so either I was being really quiet or they were just really concentrating on the trail I don't know all right gonna have coffee watch the sunrise get some breakfast 
heck up and probably keep riding a little bit this morning. One, to try to warm up, but two, just because it's fun. Making my way up, switchbacks, and a little bit of hike a bike. Heck, I see people on bikes without gear doing hike a bike on this one. Time for a little single track. And I'm not riding at race speed today, so. <laughs> Actually climbed that pretty well. Stop for some pictures. It's a beautiful morning. Gotta get this turned around now. Oh, holy cow. Dropper post, definitely. <laughs> cool thing on an adventure bike, man. Everybody needs one. I may have to shoot that up with here again later, but. Alright, this is the actual downhill. <laughs> it's not really about how fast, but riding it smooth. Traction is fantastic. Uh, Front tire is probably at about 13 PSI. I got the back a little bit higher at 15, maybe 16. Uh, still got the tubes in. I've only had the bike in a couple days, so. So far, I like it. Oh, yeah. So not bad, I mean, I can definitely tell it's a fully rigid. If I go tubeless, I'll be able to put the tires down a little further, air pressure. That'll make it a little more comfortable. Ah, oh, what a beautiful morning. short little loop is done so yesterday I started down that canyon roads really close actually and I went up that way and just did a loop back around this morning I came from up there 
and then just did this downhill so it's gonna head on out got one short little climb here almost back to the road just kind of sad but good so this things did uh did well Adventure done. Oh, that was a good time. Good time. <laughs> Evidence squad.